Hey, this is Don from Padlock Technologies again with another video. This time we're going to talk about secure client management. Now, this video was based on something I had to deal with earlier with a client or whatever. Um, and we were talking back and forth. And one of the things they wanted to do is kind of roll out secure client um, without the hassle and, and nonsense of going with GPOs and all that good stuff. So I basically pointed them to Cisco Secure Client Management Console, which is a cloud platform that you can actually control secure client deployments, right? And this way you kind of remove the whole GPO, GPO push, all the nonsense that, you know, your, you know, desktop team will have to deal with in terms of upgrading uh, Cisco Secure Client, maybe pushing profiles, stuff like that. So if you are running into this problem right now, you definitely need to pay attention to this video because I think this is a great product that Cisco has pushed out and not a lot of people even know that it exists. So you're probably going to learn something new. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to show you the console first and then we're actually going to, on this machine here, we're going to push the client to this machine. I already have the installer on here, but we're going to actually do the full, our, our network installer and then you'll see everything that I pushed down to it from the console. So let's go into the console and then I'll go from there. All right, so this is the actual Cisco Secure Client Management Console. Now, as you can see, I already have one in here, which is another test machine that I have, but it's on a different deployment. So as you can see, the deployment type here, Secure Endpoint Deployment, I just created this group. Now, in order to push things down to it, you need to create a deployment package. So what you're going to do here, we'll view the deployment packages over here. Now, these are the deployment packages that I created. Now, the one that I have right now is the lab one. So let's look at the lab one here. So here's the lab deployment package. Now, the cool thing about this is I literally control everything I need to control via this package. So obviously you need to turn on the cloud management because that's how I control uh, the secure client deployments from the cloud. Now you can actually do your secure client versioning right now. It's on the recommended version. And the cool part about this is anybody's on the old version that is controlled by this platform or this console, the minute you open up your laptop, it'll just start updating itself. It'll come up on the screen. Hey, you're on an older version. Like if I go in here and change the version, It'll just say, okay, you need to upgrade to the version. No more, hey, we need to log into a firewall and upgrade the package or deal with the desktop team and they have to go push it out and they may not know where to put certain files in. This handles all of it for you. So again, if you are somebody that is in the Cisco ecosystem and you're using Secure Client, do I would not use any other platform for managing Secure Client deployments other than this unless you know you want to go through the headache of the gpo and all that good stuff i would really avoid any of that and just go to this then you can actually push secure endpoint the cool part about this is when you integrate secure endpoint with this it'll actually look at what you have deployed from a package perspective and say okay you're actually this is your instance what group do you want to actually deploy this to okay you put the, pick the group and it will pull all the policies and stuff and put it in the uh, secure endpoint module. So you don't even have to worry about messing around with secure endpoint. All you have to do is create the package in secure endpoint, create the group policy, all that good stuff, and then the client management will pull that data in. The second thing that's cool, oh, that's the second. The third thing that's cool is the secure access root certificate. Oh, root certificates, just like umbrella root certificates. Remember how much of a pain this was when you forgot to put this on the machine, right? You forget to pull this on the machine, people go to Umbrella or Secure Access and they're getting this big, uh, we don't trust the certificate because you enabled SSL decryption and you don't have the root certificate on that machine. So you enable this and it will install this and this option is going to be the Secure Access uh, root certificate. Now you, you're gonna have to do the Umbrella certificate, Cisco, you need to change this to allow them to actually do the Umbrella certificate as well. Um, but once you enable that, it'll push that certificate. And then if you want to push the zero trust module with any kind of zero trust you know, configurations, you can do that too. So again, doing it this way is a lot better than, you know, 
doing it the manual way or GPOs or anything like that. And then again, you can control it once you go back to your clients. You can pretty much con control everything from here. Obviously, you have you got Windows 10, Windows 11, and Mac, and all that good stuff. Any kind of connectors that need to be updated, it, you can update it from here. Anything that has been seen in seven days, you'll get the warning messages. You got your device types. You pretty much got complete control of the secure client package and deployment from the cloud. And you can be anywhere in the world and do all this stuff. So now that we're on this computer here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it live here. And then I'll refresh the windows once it's finished doing what it's doing. Let's see. I'm going to go with the network deployment. Now, the difference between the network deployment and the full deployment is obviously the network deployment is going to call home and pull all this information from it. So right now, it is saying, hey, pending install. So if I turn this around here, hopefully you guys can see it. But you see that little white window up there? That is the network install. It's saying pending install. So once I hit continue, it'll actually pull everything it needs to pull down from the cloud manager. Okay, so it says installation success. So once we see that pop up here, we will start seeing agents and all kind of stuff get pushed down to my machine. Yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit because it looks like there eventually will be a deployment here. It just happens in the background. And again, since this is cloud being cloud pushed, and I didn't do the full deployment, it may take a little bit of while here. But this is real time, so I would rather see what this looks like in real time, push behind the scenes, than to give you some edited video and make it seem like it's two minutes when it's maybe 10 minutes. So I'm in the control panel, by the way, on the Windows machine to see when things get pushed. And behind the scenes, a lot of, wow, that was fast. Because now I see a lot of stuff getting pushed. Yep, it just showed up. That was pretty fast. And the again, the network install is pretty cool because it just popped up. And yeah, this is still taking, it hasn't reported yet. Oh, yep, because it's now installing. Just to let you guys know. As you can see, hopefully, you can't see too much, but that's the installation. It's upgrading right now. So I got to wait for it to wait. In the meantime, between time, I'm going to keep refreshing here. So again, that was that was pretty fast for at least the installation to start happening. Now calling home may take a little bit of time because it's still in, it's doing umbrella right now. And it's upgrading all these modules here. So let's do an umbrella, and then it will install some other packages. Again, we're still waiting here. So far, it's been a couple minutes. Okay. And now it's telling me my system needs to restart. Just let me show you something right now that you haven't seen it yet. There's the secure client right there. Remember, it wasn't on here before, but since I did a network push, pushed it right on the machine. So umbrella is activated. Um, posture obviously is not activated because I'm not doing posturing, but I created my own posture profile. So for people that want to do posturing and want to now control the posture uh, XML file, you can push that to directly to it. So you don't really have to worry about going through that. So new machine, you run this network install, puts everything on there. Person comes in, they plug in, don't have to worry about anything installing at that point. So again, this is this is why I think this is pretty cool. And again, it's, it, it told me to restart the system, so this thing still may not pop up. Yeah, let me restart my system here. And then it may call home after I restart. So I'm going to restart the system. Because right now we still only see We have our deployments, and if we go to clients, we, we we're not going to see anything pop up here just yet because it hasn't called home yet. 
but it, it has already installed all the stuff that I need. I just need to wait for it to call home. And once it does that, you will eventually see that in here. All right, so we're back here. Of course, Windows want to take forever to sign in. And I'm going to switch screens so you guys can actually see. All right, so we're back here. And I want to actually show you guys that it did push it. And when I turn this thing around, I want to show you the all the modules that were pushed. Because I still need to do a scan and my secure endpoints as well. But of course, Windows want to load up everything under the sun, so it takes forever to do it. I need to change these modules up so it doesn't install everything on their sun a billion times. Now, I will tell you, this could be an issue later down the line. I've seen this before where um, if you have some type of MDM or something like that, it could cause an issue, right? Because the MDM will say, hey, I don't recognize this, and it will uninstall it because it's not an approved app. I've seen that happen a couple of times. So you just got to be careful with that. So again, here's everything that was installed. The, the posture module, we have AnyConnect, we have uh, Cisco Secure Endpoint, and we have Umbrella all in one. Everything that was installed. So still have to wait for it to call home. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. but. If you guys are managing, like I said, if you're managing any kind of secure endpoint, anything like that, you need to get involved with the Cisco Secure Client Management Platform. So far, I don't know any of the vendors that can do that, push, push it through the cloud. I haven't seen it. I may be wrong, but I have not seen it. This stuff is pretty cool. I think Cisco Security Platform is definitely... It's it's coming along very great uh, from what it used to be, right? So this is Don from Powerlock Technologies. If you like this video, please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Bring people to the channel because I do, you know, bring out new cool stuff like this every once in a while. And I think everybody should, you know, know about this type of stuff. So bring people to the channel, subscribe. This is Don from Powerlock Technologies again. Thank you and have a nice day.